Only 18 days are left to the presidential elections and all aspects of the electoral process are in high gear. The Electoral Commission has started packing ballot papers for the presidential and parliamentary elections. The moment these materials are packed in the respective kits or ballot boxes and sealed, the last chapter here will be to load them onto trucks and transport them to the respective districts. For example, the woman member of parliament, the candidate for Masaka, candidate for Kyotera, they died after even the delivery of these ballot papers. So the law requires us, one as I said, to conduct fresh nominations so that that vacancy is filled. But then that means that ballot paper can no longer work. So we have the task, therefore, of printing fresh ballot papers. Not by those printers outside. <laughs> you can't. And candidates are getting to the final lap of the campaigns as they seek to woo voters through methods that the Electoral Commission and Ministry of Health have blamed for the spike in COVID-19 cases. Thus, the Commission has suspended campaign meetings in districts of Kampala, Wakiso, Greater Mukono, Masaka, Luero, Kalungu, Mbarara, Kabale, Kazo, Kabarole, Kasese, Jinja, and Tororo. Campaign meetings in all these areas are suspended until further notice. This ban is for all levels, all categories in these areas. And as I said, this is until further notice. And even for these other areas where the transmission rates are low, we are going to continue watching the situation on how the candidates and the supporters conduct themselves. Any candidate who is inclined to continue acting defiance stands the risk of being banned from campaigns even in areas which are not the high-risk transmission areas. So, if we may focus on the race for president, who of the front runners will miss holding campaign meetings in which districts, according to their schedules? Of the 13 districts, candidate Chorim Seven of NRM has not campaigned in Kampala, Wakiso, and Greater Mukono. NUP's Robert Chagulani has not campaigned in Kampala, Wakiso, Masaka, Kalungu and Ginger, while Patrick Amoriato Boy of FDC may miss holding meetings in Wakiso, three of the five divisions of Kampala, Kasese, Ginger, Tororo, Kabale, Luero, Fort Porto City, Masaka City and Kalungu which he missed today. According to the Electoral Commission, the candidates will now use virtual means to reach out to the voters in the affected districts. We know that it will affect candidates, but you know that this is a health situation. It's a health emergency, so life comes first. I think uh, it is similar to what we went through after paying school fees uh, and then the schools are, are closed and there's a situation like that. So I think we need to, uh, both service providers and uh, candidates need to, to, to reach an understanding on this matter. But even if their airtime is affordable, we asked Bukenya how the Electoral Commission will ensure the candidates are not blocked by security. I've already uh, engaged on this matter with the authorities that people should be allowed to access radio stations. But we've also uh, uh, urged the candidates to use other options that are available to them, including uh, open air broadcasting, which is, in, uh, which is uh, available to, to us all, uh, as well as posters, banners, and other visuals that can promote your candidature. A decision that will cause an ease for candidates who, according to their schedules, seem to have saved the best for the last days. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition. Ballot papers, 